Why do you have the golden arches in your hand? Why did you eat 20 piece meat nugget? Oh sh- <laughs> uh, Books is good for the brain. Your papi had a heart attack today. Brain and petals, these drop. I wore the wrong shoes. I am dumb, so. I'm not a narcissist. Did she spray Pam on the food? Hello, it's ready. order pizza. I don't even like pizza. I honestly do not care for pizza. You can ask anybody in my life. So this is our ending results. Processed food. The pizza's for tomorrow. The pizza's for tomorrow. I'm gonna make a whole video about it because tomorrow's a Super Bowl and I did mention something about that in a last video that I made. So I'll make that video tomorrow too explaining why I got the pizza. A week ago or more, I uh, made a video wanting advice of if there was going to be pizza at a party, Super Bowl party, a get together, would you count calories or would you eat in moderation? And I got so many mixed reviews. If I was to order pizza, I know some um, places where you can order, they have a thing where it says they can calculate whatever you have on your pizza and the calories can be there. But I don't trust it so much. So what I thought of, while my girlfriend's parents order their pizza, I figured me and my girlfriend get our own pizza from the store. So our calories are visual on the box. So I bought a pizza. I'm happy with my um, choice to eat that pizza. I don't know if any of you saw my vlog from yesterday. I filmed a little in the store and there was a pizza in my cart. And so I just kind of wanted to explain why I got it. This is a very big step for me and the pizza looks delicious, sounds delicious. It's like a buffalo chicken kind. I'm not going to deprive myself. For those of you who thought I shouldn't eat any pizza, That'll probably never happen because, like I said, I live my life in moderation. Picked up the pizza. We went to my dad's house and we ate pizza. Don't worry, I did my calories. Mm -hmm. Well, it's more like a pizza roll up. Mm -hmm. It was something I've never had before. Destiny posting a picture of two pizzas. There's this like rumor going around that I ate the whole pizza. I just wanna say that I did not eat the whole pizza just because I got a whole pizza. It was because Destiny and I like different types of pizzas and CeCe's is super cheap. And for some reason, they do not do half one kind and half another. At least they didn't want to do it for us. So with the pizza, I got chicken buffalo if you guys care. And I only ate three pieces. So I figured I would film a mukbang video. I'm going to be eating three pretty big slices of pizza. Pepperoni. I'm not really a pepperoni girl, but I need to get something in my system and the only thing that we really have right now is pizza this really is good though girl you can lose weight and eat pizza three pieces of pizza fits into my calories mm. i love the crust on pizza oh my god and i filmed a mukbang that day and i actually had pizza and i just didn't want it like i felt ugh, i don't want it like it was really weird because pizza is pretty big especially when it's cold and it was cold um but i had to force myself to eat you can't you cannot starve yourself my whole thing is what i choose to put in my body is my choice but if i ever come on here and i eat like a pizza people will cry about it that just means that i'm working around that pizza and that i'm able to consume it hello for another mukbang Today we have some Pizza Hut, but this is a leftover mukbang. Like this is like lazy style mukbang. Like when you think of like leftover cold pizza, you just want to be like lazy AF. I only have two pieces left. So the type of pizza, my favorite, is the stuffed crust. So it is stuffed crust. It is a light garlic and parmesan sauce. What I like on it is onion, chicken, I got some pork, some green peppers. Did I say olive already? So yes, my pizza is cold. I know a lot of people are like, cold pizza, no. But me, 
cold pizza is my favorite. <laughs> I wish cold pizza was delivered to you instead of hot pizza. Like, you guys, look what I found. Kali Power Pizza. This is pizza without bread. We have a three cheese kind, a margarita pizza, and a veggie pizza. Oh my god, this looks so great. I am super excited. Some of these are open. Why is this open? Every time I grab something, it's open. Okay, well, I guess I can see what it looks like on the inside. It looks literally just like a pizza. I don't know why these are open. So I'm just gonna, this is why I like grabbing from way back here. So at the birthday party, I was having such an amazing time. I totally forgot to take the pictures. Plus my phone was in Becky's pocket. I had two slices of buffalo chicken pizza. It was super, super good, might I add. These items are actually usually the items I usually eat when I go to this place, so. So I just wanna say this because I'm rather proud of myself. Usually when I have company over and we're like playing games or just like having a really good time, I'll always order pizza. I don't even like pizza, but I'll order it. And I'll order like two, three pizzas. We'll get a few sides and like, I just go to town. I just sit there and like eat a bunch of pizza and eat a bunch of sides. You know what I did? I literally ate carrots. I'm, I'll always order pizza. I don't even like pizza. So this is not a lie. I honestly do not care for pizza. You can ask anybody in my life. I truthfully do not care for pizza like at all if i have to i'll eat some pizza but honestly i don't care for it so i woke up really hungry like nauseous to the point of nausea yeah i got a caesar salad and then i also got this really tiny pizza like i'm talking like super tiny like you can see my hand my goal is only eat half of this but like i said i am pretty hungry i'm done i'm actually gonna put the rest of this in the fridge i love me some cold pizza but actually you guys honestly i'm not a pizza person but if i have to eat it i do prefer it cold but i will say it's a small obviously something about the actual like crust doesn't taste like normal pizza crust so i think that's why i like it we have the table out here yes i'm eating with chairs on the table i'm having a lean cuisine pepperoni pizza and i put some tapatio on top so oh this is good I used to eat these in high school. High school, 12 years ago. Two of these Lean Cuisine pepperoni pizzas. Delish. This is a low sodium green bean that I just had in a can, but I do cook it on the stove. And over here we have pepperoni pizza. So I usually eat my pizza with a fork, but I'm gonna pick it up today. <laughs> I've never had the pizza from Jenny Craig, so taste test. Mmm, I love the texture. I think pizza is growing on me. This is good. This is what it looks like. Actually, I am digging it. Okay, so we have a mukbang. We have plantain chips and a pizza I got from Trader Joe's, which is literally just garlic, pesto, and cheese. Oh my God, I'm so pumped, so excited. All right, I've never actually had this pizza before. Mmm, what? so good I, I honestly do not care for pizza you can ask anybody in my life out of breath sweaty well i don't really sweat a lot of people are like amberlyn you sweat i really don't it's more like a um like a damp glistening thing like i never like drip sweat it's very rare Dead at. the treadmill is amazing um i noticed that for me when i walk on a treadmill i feel like i burn more calories i get more like sweaty and like out of breath compared to just like walking on the street or something i enjoyed it becky enjoyed it she um worked herself up into a sweat so that's good damn i'm sweating literally and i don't sweat <laughs> like it was really hot out and i'm freaking sweating bullets right now oh i rode on nora good Today was a slow and steady at first, but I still did it and I am proud. I have a little bit of sweat going on, but not much because it is cold out here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I don't know if you guys can tell. I'm glistening a bit. My hair is a little glistening and wetty looking. I just danced. I'm sweating. I need to turn this fan on. I really enjoy being in the sun. And you know what's really weird? I don't really sweat. I ended up sweating a bit towards the end there. But what's really weird is I get these like sweat blisters. It's like these little like tiny, I'm talking tiny, little like water pockets 
because like my body won't sweat, which is actually really bad. <sighs> so freaking hot. Sweating off some pounds, I'd like to hope, but then I'm packing it on with food. I have this little fan because I was sweating really bad. Like I was so hot and just sweating like crazy. And as you guys know, I don't really sweat, so it was very odd. I'm gonna be doing 10 minutes on the elliptical, seven days a row, and I'm not gonna be pushing myself. I'm just gonna, you know, casually go. I did it today, and with my casually going, I still sweated. So that is what matters. My heart was beating, I was beating faster, I was breathing harder and stuff like that. So that's what matters. We do not have sheets on the bed because we live in Florida and it's freaking hot as hell. And our AC literally sucks in our room. It is so hot in here. Obviously we had sheets when we first moved in. We have the whole bed made. The sheets made it so much hotter and I was like sweating and I couldn't sleep and it was just really uncomfortable. We're supposed to be buying this really expensive fan here in a couple weeks. So I think once that happens, we're gonna see if it really helps cooling down the room and then we'll put sheets on the bed. So don't worry. I literally am sweating and I like never sweat. TMI I know but it feels good. I feel like talking is making me sweat more. I'm not really sweating. I don't sweat. A lot of people, I mean, I've sweat in the past. Like you guys have seen it in videos where I've glistened a little bit, but a lot of people um, I've actually seen, how come after your workouts, you're not sweating? I really don't sweat much, you guys. Like I'm not a sweater. You smell bad. What is with this like false assumptions that people make about bigger people? I smell great. I get complimented on it. Am I always smelling great? Probably not. People get a little sweaty here and there. It is what it is. Some of the things that I see about people saying I smell like tuna cottage cheese, like what the heck is that? I smell good. I do. You can believe what you want. Not all fat people are the same. So how's the weather where you guys live? Like honestly, it is so hot here. I'm like sweating just standing outside. Like it is so gross. Number five, what is a fat thing that you do and think is funny? Like breathe heavy, sweat profusely. This one is funny. I actually rarely sweat. It's, it's actually very strange. I do not sweat profusely um, at all, but I can tell you my dad does. <laughs> kind of funny now that I think of it. My dad does. Um, I don't sweat like that. Like, I sweat like a normal person. Like, if I am outside in like 112 degree weather and I'm like walking, or sitting in a car that doesn't have air conditioning, I'm gonna sweat a little bit, but I don't sit here and just sweat. Like, look at me, I'm in a freaking scarf. Like, uh, number six, what is your plus size pet peeve? I think it's the fact that people put a label on obese people, plus size people, whatever, sweating profusely. That's just a label. That's just an assumption people make. How are you handling the Florida weather? I don't know how I'm handling it. If I'm just in this apartment and I stand up for like a total of half of a second, I'm like sweating bullets. I still um, just went to the bathroom real quick. Like literally, I sweat like a maniac today. But literally, I was sweating like a maniac at one point. That was so embarrassing. Amber, can you walk to the tree again? It's actually getting really cold outside, so maybe I won't sweat as much. <laughs> I don't sweat anyways as much anyhow. But uh, maybe I won't get as hot. <laughs> I'm exhausted. I don't know if you see the sweat. Like, who even sweats anymore? It's so gross. That is just so disgusting. Totally kidding. Sweat is my fat crying. You know what I'm saying? I regret not having leftovers. <laughs> I only had one plate. And it, it was a piled on plate. It was super good. But yeah. Oh, God. I was sweating while doing the dishes. After I wear flats and I take them off, the bottom of my feet are like baby butt soft i don't know what it is they're not sweaty or anything like that like that's weird but they're like soft kind of like the softness of a really soft pair of socks or something oh my gosh when i was younger like when i lived with my parents before i got into foster care we lived in this really like it was a pretty nice house it was actually like a restaurant that's a whole other thing um and the yard was humongous, so my dad had a four-wheeler, and I would go on it and stuff. What cars has your family owned? My biological family, I remember they had a Volvo when I was younger. But the main car that I remember was my dad's Blazer. He was obsessed with that Blazer. He put a lot of time in it, a lot of money. He also put a lot of speakers in there. I turned up Roseanne for as loud as it could go. It was an old TV. Like, we're, like, literally trailer park trash. Like, I'm not trying to offend anybody because there are a lot of people who live in trailers who are not trailer park trash. Like, but I can admit for myself, that's what we were. That's what everyone saw us as. So we didn't have, like, the highest end of the highest stuff. Like, our TV sucked. It was a small trailer, disgusting trailer, might I add. What was your best birthday party as a kid? I never had one, really. Um, I guess when I was a, like, 
a newborn toddler moment. Like I was like a few years old. Um, my dad dressed up as a clown. My parents did drugs. I was in foster care. You know, I did live with my parents until I was eight, nine. But while living with my parents, we would go camping and we would go every summer for my brother's birthday. My dad, he would go fishing. Um, the place we'd go camping had a little like beach moment. So we'd like swim in the water. You know, me and my brother would bring bikes and we would ride our bikes around. It was a big popular camp place. So it was a lot of fun. As a child, I was on a soccer team. I was on a softball team. I was in a dance group. I did a lot of stuff like that. I would rollerblade, roller skate, swim, ride my bike. I was very, I don't wanna say athletic, but I kind of was. Soccer and softball was fun. If I had to choose between the two, I think definitely soccer. I prefer playing soccer. My parents were drug addicts. They neglected me. I lived in a trailer that was falling apart with mold and holes. I used to steal when I was younger. I didn't have anything. So I started stealing. I was drinking and smoking all the time. First thing is I have really bad memory loss from traumatic events that happened in my childhood. I don't remember a lot of things that happened in my childhood or even in my teenagehood. I just don't remember a lot. She said it's memory loss due to traumatic events. Sports aren't entertaining to me. I used to play soccer and softball when I was a little girl. My brother played baseball. He was the pitcher. He was in love with it. Sports are kind of like in the family per se. I know my family enjoys football and baseball and I used to go to like famous vape. I used to go to famous baseball games, famous football games and stuff like that with my dad and my brother. Growing up, I only had one pair of pants that I wore constantly. I had a Jimi Hendrix sweatshirt. I wore every single day and that's the only clothing items I really had. I might have had a few other shirts here and there. I think I had one black shirt that said Giants on it. Those were really the only two things that I would wear all the time because I didn't have anything. In high school, Fiji was the only water I would drink. I wouldn't drink any other water. No tap water, no water from restaurants, no other bottled water, only Fiji. It was so weird. When did you get your nose piercing? What made you get it? I love it. Thank you. I actually got it when I was 12. I was probably 11 and I thought, I want a nose ring, I want a nose ring, I want it so bad. It was like a thought that just came into my head and I literally couldn't stop thinking it, couldn't stop speaking on it. And during the time I was living with my parents because I was in foster care, I was living with them for like a trial to see if they were fit parents. And my dad surprised me and he took me and he was like, shh, don't tell your mom. And I went and got my nose pierced. And I swear, as I was getting it pierced, he literally squeezed my hand harder than I squeezed his. But it was so fun. It was just like one drop of blood. And a few of my guy friends actually came with us and it was a fun time. I didn't have money growing up at all. When I lived with my parents, poor. And when we did have money, they spent it on drugs. And I never had anything, you know, I had one pair of pants. I had a sweater I wore every day. I didn't have anything. And then when I was in foster homes, obviously I didn't have anything. When I was younger, I literally only had like one pair of pants. I only had one shirt. I literally wore the same thing to school every single day. I literally grew up with nothing like you know i can just go to the grocery store and buy whatever i want but when i was younger we didn't have money for food so we would get free food every saturday we would get like a box of free food that got delivered uh to us school dances i loved me a school dance but they always costed money my parents didn't have that money i love car racing I used to go when I was younger with my dad. I kind of grew up with it when I was living with my parents. I have been to NASCAR. I don't know. It's a video, so that means <laughs> I want to talk about something. On January 16th, 2014, Amber told us a story about a note she had written to her friend confessing that she was bisexual. The notes, I guess I never ended up giving it to my friend and I left it in my pants pocket and my mom did my laundry. Um, but I did not find out till months later that my mom read that note because during one argument, I was telling her, I was actually in tears, telling her that she doesn't know everything about me. But my mom read then and there said, I know you like women. And that is exactly what she said. She says, I know you like women. And I was like, whoa, what makes you think this? How do you know this? And I told her to promise me to not tell my dad because I wasn't sure how he was going to handle it. 
How did my dad find out? I honestly don't remember. I think it kind of just, I think he kind of just knew. I think my mom told him, to be honest. Years went on and I was 18, 17, 18, and I had a more serious relationship with a girl I told my dad about. It was another online relationship. Seems like the online ones are more serious with me. Um, And I told him that I was going to meet her in person. He really didn't think anything bad of it but every time I talk to him now he always calls my girlfriend a friend and then he laughs it's his way of joking but it's his way of showing me that he accepts me after some time went on was debating whether or not if I should just come out as a lesbian because everyone knew me knew me as bisexual my mom pretty much already knew and she she accepted it and so now everybody knows and I am a lesbian and that's just how it goes. So my whole life I was bisexual. I came out as a bisexual to myself and to my friends when I was around the age of like 14 I want to say. I hid it from my parents for a very long time until my mom found a note in my jean pocket. That was when I was about 16, 17. My dad still didn't know. And then I turned 18 and I was in a, you know, really committed relationship with this girl. I actually started living with her and it was like this whole thing. So I was 18 years old and that's when I came out of lesbian. I told my mom, I told my dad, I told everybody and I was very proud of who I was because it took me a long time to find that strength to like kind of accept myself for who I was. Yeah, let's get into it. We could talk a little bit about my sexual orientation and things of that such. So if you guys want to watch this and stick along. When did you first realize you were gay? I like processed in my head. I'm bisexual when I was probably around 12, but I was 18 when I was like, nah, I'm a lesbian. Number three, who was the first person you came out to? But when it came to me being a lesbian, actually the first person I told was my mom. I was in a relationship at the time. The girl I was in a relationship with, you know, knew I was bisexual. People thought I was bisexual. Instead of telling her first, I actually told my mom first. Okay, and how did your parents react to you coming out? I came out to my mom twice as a bisexual and then later on as a lesbian but I have never came out to my dad. I never once talked to my dad about being bisexual or anything like that. And then flash forward to when I was 18 and I've never actually told my dad straight up, you know, I'm a lesbian. He knows I've had girlfriends. Like obviously if you're already out of the closet as I am besides with my dad, but I kind of am. So this video is a video of the conversation that I had with my dad just literally an hour ago. Um, I came out to him as a lesbian. All the way up until I was 18, I thought I was bisexual. It was something I hid from my dad, but my mom found out on her own when I was about 15, 16. I can't quite remember the exact age. I told her not to tell my dad. All the way up until now I'm 26. I never once told my dad, oh, I'm bisexual. Never once told my dad, oh, I'm a lesbian. I never wanted my dad to know that I was gay. I never had a discussion with him about it or anything. It's Pride Month and I made an LGBT, um, video it just got me thinking I really need to talk to my dad about this I'm not gonna sit here and lie about it totally not wearing any makeup hair up I look like a hot mess I didn't know I was gonna stay the night so I didn't bring a change of clothes or anything so I'm hoping to go home and get a change of clothes because I don't like re-wearing clothes like I hate that so much I look like back at these videos from like two years ago when I was at my heaviest and I just didn't take care of myself. My emotional state, my mental state, my physical state, I'd wear the same clothes days on end and I just looked unkept. Oh, it's the next day and I am a mess and a half. I'm wearing the same clothes I wore yesterday. I had to sleep in them. All my clothes was in the truck and we didn't do anything about that. Like. Everything was still in the truck. I just woke up, <laughs> that's why I look like this, but I slept in my actual clothing. Like, no, but I did. I'm a piece of garbage. I slept in my makeup. I accidentally slept in my makeup, which is a really bad habit that I have been trying to get out of, which I've been doing pretty good with, but last night, I'm not gonna lie, I forgot I was even wearing makeup, and <laughs> when I fell asleep, I fell asleep. So I woke up, and this is how I look. I totally forgot to end my vlog last night, so I just woke up. I'm just gonna be getting ready for work. Yes, I slept 
in the shirt that I wore to work. It's called coming home and being extremely lazy. Last night I did not feel good as you guys saw my video. I literally was too sick and tired and exhausted to even go up the stairs to get myself some pajamas. I literally slept in this shirt. I like showered, put this back on, went to bed and I was like, done. I literally slept in what I wore yesterday. This is literally what I wore last night and I slept in it and woke up in it. It's not cute. Hey guys, so I literally slept in what I wore yesterday. That is a true fact. Not gonna sit here and lie about it, but it did happen and I'm still currently wearing it, so. Like this is where I've been starting my vlogs at, just sitting on the bed, wearing my attire that I slept in, cause that's just, you know, how I roll, I guess. Ding! Yes, I'm wearing the same shirt as yesterday. I slept in it. Don't hate. We stayed the night at a friend's house. I got makeup in my eye yesterday, so it's like double whammy. So I love that for me. I did sleep with my makeup on. I know a lot of you hate that about me. Showering with makeup on is the worst in the world. I just didn't feel like taking off my eyelashes. So they're like kind of messed up right now. But thankfully, I'm going back to my friend's house before we actually go out and do things. Right now, we're just picking up something to eat and I'm just not vibing. As Tammy Slayton said in uh, her show, I'm vibing. I'm vibing. I'm vibing. She said, I'm vibing. I'm not, so. I'm still in my shirt that I slept in. I probably should change that soon. Huh? Bye guys. That's all folks. And she's out. I need people to know that like mental things are it's scary. Like there are girls outside right now that are taking selfies in front of a rock wall. This is my life and I do what I want.